Hello guys, Amud here from the Target Common YouTube channel. And in this video, we are going to learn last CRUD operation, delete. Okay, so just to give an overview about delete APIs or delete HTTP method, okay, which is one of the part of, or which is one of the CRUD operations, right? So just to give me a real time scenario to you, like suppose you are creating a Facebook account, right? and you use it and after some time you feel that you don't require that facebook account anymore so generally what we will go we go and try to delete our facebook account right so on ui we will have some options and maybe we need to fill up some details and then we need to uh, click on delete button something like that right but internally there will be a delete call okay in fact delete, delete api call which will go and identify your resource or identify your info on the server and then they will delete it. Okay, so that is a delete API or delete HTTP method which performs such operation. Okay, so more about delete, like by the word delete, we can understand that it is something, something to delete or something to remove from the server. Okay, then uh, second point I've already explained. And this third point, like it may have a request body and a response body. Focus on the word may have, okay? It's not mandatory that any, all the delete requests will have a body, okay? For request and response. Because when I, like suppose uh, you have created one booking, right? So you'll get a one booking ID. So if you want to delete any booking or cancel, if you want to cancel any booking, right? So that booking ID you need to pass. That will that booking ID will hold all the information related to that booking, right? So in that case, they do need to pass any request payload. Okay. So that completely depends upon whether how API is developed and what is the requirement. Okay. If we need to pass multiple operation, multiple fields or multiple information while deleting any resource from the server, then maybe we need to send the payload, request payload. Just for an example, if you go for uh, deleting the Facebook account, right? so they might ask you to enter some details, why you want to delete it. So for those type of API, you might need to send request body to delete API. Similarly, any delete API may have a response body, means once it performs the operation, it may or may not return any response to you. That completely depends upon the requirement and how API is built. Okay, that's why I've written here a delete request may or may not have any request or response body. It is not a it is not a safe method. Why? Because it is manipulating the data. So any iterative method which manipulates data that is not a safe method. The adult is an important method. Yes, if you have fire the API once, right? So if you're firing multiple times, there will be no impact, right? Because this was already deleted, okay? And then uh, it may throw some uh, status code like 200 or 204 or 202. So 202 generally it throws when delete deleting the resource is not a single sort operation. In that case, it will accept the request and then it in background, it will take some time to delete the resource permanently, okay? And in many, many times it happens like uh, uh, all the server will not have any hard delete or soft delete kind of thing. Means uh, they will have like hard delete means if anyone is requesting to delete the resource information, so it will be deleted completely and you cannot revert it back, okay? But in soft delete, it happens like whatever your resource information are there, that will be uh, kept in some inaccessible account, inaccessible storage of place so that it cannot be accessed easily. Okay, like just for an example, if you go and de uh, delete your Facebook account and you would try to uh, re login, so Facebook will give you some hint like this account already exists, do you want to reactivate it? Something kind of thing. So Facebook is not deleting your account permanently or they are not doing any hard delete. Okay, so that completely depends upon the delete API on how they have been developed and what are the requirements. So follow whether the records will be deleted permanently or it's be a soft delete. Okay, 204 no country it can throw when there's no response body it can throw 204. Okay, so that is fine. 
So this is uh, all about delete request. And now let's go and learn how can we automate a delete API in this episode. Okay. So before that, I just want to show you that which API I am going to show you an example here. So we'll go to again this full booker APIs, and here we have called delete booking. So we have already covered create booking, update booking, and parcel update booking, everything. So now it's coming a delete booking. Okay. So which we can see here, uh, this is delete booking, and it is delete call. Okay, delete HTTP method, and here is the URI. Okay, so here we can see slash one slash with nothing but a booking ID. What a booking ID you want to cancel or delete into pass that booking ID. So in this type of API, there is no need to pass any request body. Okay, because on server, this particular URI will uniquely identify resource. Okay, and we can see this like uh, for updating. Uh, similar to update for deleting also we need to pass the token okay so which i have covered in previous session as well but i am not covering detail but as of now simply we'll add one authorization header in our request so that it will run okay and you can see here it talks about the url parameter id okay so this is the url parameter so whatever if suppose you want to read the booking at 10 then to pass the 10 here okay and once it is success, so we'll get 201. Okay, 201 created. Okay, so it's just a dummy API. So it's just for learning purpose. So they are not following all the standard. But again, yeah, this fine for delete booking also. They are this particular API will return 201. Okay. So it might be sometime it happens, some delete API will not directly delete your task because it may take some time. So they will create some task. Okay. The task to do. Okay, means a delete task to do. You hit the API, you are done. They will return to not one, but internally one task has been created, which task is related to delete some resource information. Okay, so that completely depends how API are developed. Okay, now let's go to Eclipse and try to automate the same API using this episode. Okay, so we are here and uh, let me create a class called uh, delete booking okay so let me put a main method here okay and uh, we know that any resource kit will follow three parts construct the request okay construct construct request okay hit request and Validate whatever you want to validate response. CNS TRUT. Okay. So we know that how can we construct the request? We need to use the resistor, resistor is a class, and uh, we need to use a method called given. Okay. So this I've already explained well. So you, you can therefore previous videos of mine, but I've explained everything. How can we write in BDD format and how this sort of syntax we need to use? Okay, so let me add the base URI. So we know that this will be my base URI till here. Let me copy it, paste it here. Okay, then we have called base path, right? So we know that base path will be this much. So let me delete, let me delete the booking ID one itself. Okay. Okay, even you can use the URI parameter also, so which I have covered previously. So I will just change that after showing this example. Okay, once it's done, so there's no need to pass any request body, but we need to pass the authorization. Okay, which you can see we need to pass the authorization, then only it will work. So let me put a header here. Okay, header here, and that header will be authorization. Okay, remember that we need to pass Z here. We have faced some issue as well. So let me pass the authorization as Z, and then let me copy the this one. If you are not understanding this, why we are providing? So just to know, all the API will not be publicly available to perform any action or use it. There will be some authentication mechanism. So to delete this booking, we have one authentication mechanism which is called basic authentication. So don't worry about how this code is coming, how this particular alpha numeric 
uh, string are coming. So don't worry about that one. Okay, I will cover that one later. Okay, so we have constructed the request. Once we have constructed, we know that what we need to do, we need to hit the, we need to call which string method I need to call, delete. Because if you want to call a get method, if you, uh, if you want to use a get API, then call the get method for the post, need to post. So we have very similar, uh, like whatever stream, mes stream methods we have, similar methods are provided by resource It is a delete API, so we need to call delete method. Simple, right? And handy as well. So let me spend it here. So after delete, once you delete it, what I want to do, I just want to validate the response code. Okay, so what is uh, assert that status code. So what is what code it will return 201. Simple, right? So let me run it. So hopefully it should work fine because we have passed the base uh, URI base path properly, header as well we have passed. Okay, so it is not printing anything because we have not been given any log, right? If you're not giving a log, it will not print anything. So let me keep the log, okay? Then log dot all, okay? So let me run it again. Okay, so it is giving some error. Let me see what is the error. It is giving 405 method not allowed. Okay, so it's good that you can see that we new error code we are getting 405 method not allowed. So generally, this type of error is thrown like suppose we have a get API and you are calling a post on that, then you can get this type of error 405 method not allowed. Okay, means whatever endpoints we have, so that endpoint will support some specific HTTP operations. If you're providing any unsupported one, so you'll get this type of method. Sorry, this type of error. So let me see what is the problem here. So this is the proper URI I've given. Yes, I copied it from here itself. Then we have, okay, we're missing content type here actually. Okay, we need to pass content type actually. Since we're not passing any bodies, then it should not be the case. We should not pass the content type, but yeah, they, this is the dummy API, so maybe we need to pass it. Okay, so let me pass content type dot JSON. Okay, so let me run it now. State is giving error for a method not allowed. What is the problem here? Is your I when delete? Everything is fine here. A thousand basic. Let me run it again. These are the just uh, example APIs, so it might not behave sometime properly. Okay, but it's still giving the same way. Let me see, it is a delete method. And this is the proper URI as well. Proxy none, basic authorization we are passing, content type we are passing, application slash JSON. Okay, four or five method not allowed. Okay, so what container we are passing here? Application slash JSON. Okay, let me check here. I'm going to update booking. Need to pass this type of header. Might be it's not supporting that one.
not so sure what is the problem here but it should work in this way only let me let me just cross check it once okay guys so i found the problem the problem is that this particular one booking booking id one is not present actually that's why when i am running this particular code to delete a booking id one it is giving some 405 method not allowed so actually this is not the proper error it should throw some 404 not found right if the booking id is not present but it is throwing 405 method not allowed okay so it's not a correct one Correct behavior. Actually, API has been developed in such a way that it's showing 405. Okay, let me let me try with the 10. Okay, 10 which is existing here. So if I now run it, it will work perfectly fine. Okay, it's running. God, are we now just now it was running fine. Let me try with the six. It would have with the six years, we can see it worked finally. Okay, so it is deleting the booking ID six, and we can see here it is giving 201. Okay, so since it's dummy API or so the database issue or something, so it was not deleting, it was not finding the booking ID one, and it was not deleting it. And uh, for the non existing booking ID, it's through 404 not found, but it is showing 405 not allowed, which is not making any sense, right? But yeah, so. Uh, this, that was the reason that's why it was not working previously. And what I was saying that here we can see here I am hard coding it, right? So hard coding something not good, right? So what we can do, we can put some QR parameter, okay, which I've already covered in my previous videos, okay? And here you need to use the path, okay, path param, where parameter name a value we need to pass. So this will be my key. Okay, this will be my key and you need to pass a value here. Okay, so let me pass five this time because six I have deleted already. So I will get again that four or five method not allowed error. So to avoid it, let me delete some another booking ID. So fully it is working fine and we can see it is when created and you can see the request URI is constructed with the booking ID five. So if any parameter is changing in your uh, base path, we should always use the URL parameter. And this concept I've covered in detail in my previous videos. Okay, so with this video, I've completed all the CRUD operations. Okay, and I hope that I have explained uh, both the detailed way then the shorter way in the BDD format with the static input, everything I have explained. Okay, and uh, I, uh, from next video, I will start covering more concepts in this session. But you should know, or you should must, you must practice all these spread operations at least because the major confusion or major problem for the recessor beginner are the syntax. They are always getting confused with the syntax only. But I have already shown you that how can you categorize your scripts in the BD format, like given, when, then. To mean say how to construct the request then how to hitting the request and then what you are going to assert right so you need to follow those three steps and you will be good to write the scripting this is with the simplest framework i've ever used okay so thank you everyone we'll meet with the next uh, next concept soon